Hi everyone! So I've been receiving a lot of questions lately about my Inktober project. The most asked question is what type of sketchbook am I using? For those of you who don't know, this is what it is. It is a book that's basically one long page that's been folded on top of itself and because of that it's been allowing me to do one long continuous drawing. It's a very unique sketchbook. This is actually the first time I've ever seen anything like this and uh, I believe it's called an accordion sketchbook but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, a little bit about this particular book. I actually bought it uh, about a year ago at a small Japanese stationery store here in Los Angeles. Unfortunately, as you can see, there's really no identifying features on it whatsoever. So I don't know who made it. I don't know who the manufacturer is, nothing. I actually tried to go back to that same stationery store a couple weekends ago to get another one and they didn't have it. They didn't know what I was talking about and it really bums me out. Um, so yeah, that kind of sucks. However, I have been able to find two other similar alternatives that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. So first up is this one by Senelier, and then next is gonna be this moleskin. So again, they're very similar to what I've been using, but I'm gonna go over the differences between them, and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so let's start off by talking about the original sketchbook that kind of started it all. Um, it has a hardcover on the front as well as on the back. The paper quality inside is quite nice. It has a little bit of a texture to it, um, but not too much. So it's been really nice to play with with the ink. Once this one is completed, it's gonna be about seven feet long. So it, it's, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big book. Um, and I've really enjoyed that, especially for Inktober because it is 31 days. It hasn't gotten me through all of it. I'm just about done and it's only day 19. Uh, but it's been uh, a really nice experiment, and I hope that I can find another one like this again. So let's start off by talking about the first alternative that I found. This is the Senelier USK book. Um, it is a multimedia, acid-free sketchbook. It's quite nice, I think. Um, it is called the Urban Sketchbook. At least that's how I found it on Amazon and Dick Blick. When you remove the sleeve, it also, like the other book, has a hardcover on the front and on the back. It's quite nice. It even has a little logo that's been imprinted, if you can see there. I'm going to bring in the other sketchbook for comparison. You can see that the other book was slightly taller, and that's not that's fine. But you can see the real big difference between the thickness of the pages. So the original sketchbook has um, thinner pages. Whereas this one has fairly thick pages, you can tell um, it's definitely not as big as the other sketchbook. It's probably, oh wow, I'd say maybe a fifth of the size as far as how much paper is in here. Yeah, um, so it's definitely something for a smaller project, maybe uh, the first week of Inktober or, you know, um, something similar to that. Uh, it's nice. I like it. I can't wait to give it a try. Um, again, the paper quality feels about equivalent to what the other sketchbook was, but it feels a little bit like more like cardstock. Um, again, and that has to do with the fact that it's just such a thick paper. Um, so I'm going to give it a try. I'll give another review probably later in the year or ne early next year to talk about what happened with this one in particular. Uh, it's a pretty good value. I think this was about $12 on Amazon. And it was qualified for Prime, so I mean, if um, if you're a Prime member, you can get it fairly quickly. Uh, definitely worth checking out. It's not a huge investment, and it could be really fun. So up next is the moleskin. This one I'm most excited about trying because I'm a huge fan of moleskin products to begin with. So I actually walked down to a local art supply store earlier today and showed them the original sketchbook and asked if they had anything similar. They said the only thing they could think of was the moleskin. So until now, I've only ever heard this called the, um, shoot, what is it called? The accordion sketchbooks. Um, at this one was actually titled Japanese Album, which makes sense considering the fact that this came from a Japanese bookstore or a stationery store. So um, that's kind of neat. It was $20, so definitely more expensive than the other book, but it's a moleskin, and I'm a huge fan of their products anyway. I pretty much exclusively use their sketchbooks. 
So I'm gonna quickly open this up so we can take a look and see how different it is. And this would be my first time ever seeing one of these. Apparently they're not super common um, at my particular art supply store. They only had one and um, said they probably weren't gonna get it anymore. So the really cool thing about Moleskins is they always come with a little elastic band so it keeps them nice and safe. They have a more like fake leathery feel to their covers, which I also really like, whereas these other ones are more of like a cloth. Um, so let's open this up and see what the big difference is. Oh, wow. Again, this is one continuous page and it is enormous. It is, is wow. Yeah, that's actually gonna be much longer than the original one. So that's cool. That's really exciting. And it even has the dimensions here. It's 111 pound paper, but it doesn't say how, what the length of it is. So, hmm, that'll definitely be very interesting. But as you can see, the big difference here between the original and the moleskin is not only the height difference, but also the width. So this is definitely a much bigger sketchbook. That means it's a lot more um, surface to cover every time you're doing a drawing, but this could be really cool, especially if you're really into landscaping or wanting to do a comic or something really neat like that. So definitely worth checking out. I would almost always guarantee, like don't even worry about moleskins, just get them because they're always so fantastic. So yeah, these are the two alternatives that I found. I'm most excited about the moleskin just because um, I like the paper quality a lot better. It's smoother. It's something that I really enjoy. Uh, it's also going to be much longer than this one, so I might use this for like a week-long project or something, whereas this might become something a little bit more substantial, maybe uh, my next book, who knows. So anyway, I hope that was beneficial for you guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you liked this video, then please subscribe and give us a like because every little bit helps. And please check out some of my other videos. So. Uh, I have another one that just recently reviewed brush pens, specifically uh, ramping up for Inktober. So if that's something that you're interested in, please subscribe. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope you enjoyed.